So the question here is, would the good folk or the she or the Irish fairies even be found outside of Ireland? And the answer to that is yes and no, I think. In in absolute traditional manner, there is no easy answers for anything to do with the fairies, the she, the good folk, the good neighbours, Nadini Maha, on Ace She, whatever you want to call them, the other crowd, whatever you're having yourself. There is no easy answers when it comes to anything really to do with them. So there are definitely folk tales of people traveling or families traveling and some of the other crowd traveling with them. So especially in times when maybe a whole, almost a village would have to go or an extended family would have to go. So that is a thing that happens. There is a tale I know off the top of my head is a tale of the Banshee in Italy following an Irish person. It does seem to be mostly something like the Banshee, which would have ancestral connections that would follow particular families, individuals, kind of bloodlines across the seas. But the problem that we have in Ireland is that a lot of our fairy and folklore traditions don't involve house fairies. So you would see maybe in other cultures that it would be more common. So, sorry, the the other side to this answer is that there are otherworldly beings or good people or good folk or fairies or spirits or whatever the different cultures have in so many different countries. Probably every country or culture or tradition in the world has their own version of this. So often if an Irish person, say, was living somewhere else and they came across something that was native to that land, that people, that culture that they had moved to, they might interpret it as the Irish she or the other crowd or what they'd be used to at home and they might bring some of the same traditions and ways of dealing with them to those places and over time then the traditions would maybe evolve and even the entities themselves might change or adapt because a lot of these kind of relationships that people had with these beings or entities were actually almost symbiotic in some ways, right? Love, hate when it comes to the Irish stuff. So it's it's quite a complicated notion. Um, so that would be the no part of it. I would say that it's more likely that Irish people all over the world were encountering native versions or native cousins of our own uh, fairy folk and dealing with them in the same ways or even calling them the same things. And that's where kind of more local folk traditions, local to their new location, would grow up with beings and entities and experiences of these beings and entities with Irish names or titles or interactions or traditions, right? So I do believe that that's more likely to what's happened. But again, there are some cases of particularly the Banshee traveling all over the world with various families. So if you are not in Ireland, I would specifically say to research the culture and traditions of the small folk, the hidden folk, the good folk, the whatever they're called locally to you by native people or people indigenous to that area and see what's there. But it could, I won't say that it's a hundred percent not happening, that something might have kind of got lost or snuck in or decided to go traveling and used an Irish family or an Irish person as a convenient host, because, you know, that could be a thing. I do believe that Morgan Daimler has a book coming out on this topic. So if you wanted to go to Amazon, I would say you can sign up to either follow Morgan Daimler. That's D-A-I-M. L E or if you're not familiar um, and follow them and you will get notifications, check their forthcoming book lists, their publication lists 
um, because there's definitely a book either in the works or um, already slated for publishing um, on this very topic. So definitely have a look at that. So I hope that's been useful. Um, as ever, no clear cut answers with regard to the she, unfortunately, but that's where we are. Slán.